Welcome to the first of three videos dedicated to PRISMA, the guideline for systematic reviews. A systematic review collects information, good quality information, in general, about the intervention effects. In addition, a meta-analysis estimates those effects and quantifies its heterogeneity. Let's begin. We want to explain the PICOS mnemonic about the five components of the health question and the forest plot that summarizes all the information. PICOS includes P for target population or participants that might benefit, I for the intervention studied, C for its comparator, O for the outcome, the evaluated response variable, and S for study, the type of study, usually a randomized trial. Note that we are recovering all available studies without defining a priori how many of them should be, or how many cases each one has. Now the intervention is usually already authorized. In the confirmatory, or pivotal trial, the objective was to make a yes-no decision. For example, phase 3 is the final quality control. But now that we have already several trials on the same intervention, Another objective appears, to accumulate the scientific evidence. What do we know about the effects of the intervention? Now, instead of doing, I want to know. The confidence interval for the effect of the intervention summarizes what we know. Let's return to the graph that showed the role of randomization and the good follow-up to provide the comparability of the groups. Let's add now that these volunteers share some eligibility criteria that allows us to start out with the assumption of a reasonably homogeneous effect in all of them. This premise of constant effect can be studied later by observing, for example, similar effects in prognosis subgroups. If the effect is constant, some volunteer patients provide the data. We learn in some ones and we apply in others. It legitimizes as well evidence-based medicine which rests on the use of uniform protocols. Of course, the availability of resources and the preferences of the patients will determine the final decision. Now these effects observed in certain characteristics, do they also apply to other conditions? An isolated study should discuss transportability. But a systematic review can observe and quantify this heterogeneity of the effect. This graph shows simultaneously the proportion of adverse events in the treated group on the vertical axis and in the control on the horizontal axis. The dashed line marks the equality between the proportions for both treatments. For some reason, some studies have a higher proportion of events and others a lower one. Each study has its own protocol to guarantee its internal comparability. But these protocols differ between studies, perhaps more serious cases, or with greater follow-up. In most trials, there have been fewer events in the treated group. Right. In addition, the area of the circles is proportional to the accuracy of the results. Thus, small spots move farther away as a result of their greater random oscillation. Visually, we could summarize the effect by a line, parallel to the equality line. That it is parallel indicates that the magnitude of the effect is the same, whether the study presented many or few events. This graph shows that everything is going well. One, as a result of different protocols, some studies show more events than others, but no problem since the effect always seems to be the same. And two, the distances to the average effect are explained by the precision of each study. In summary, points out that everything is apples and there is no orange. This example of PRISMA explanation and elaboration document uses odds ratio or relative risk as a measure of the effect. Weighing each study by the amount of information it contributes, function of its standard error, obtains a joint estimate of 2.3 in all studies, with a narrow uncertainty interval. 
which does not include the value 1. The interval estimates of the effects vary greatly, as can be expected from the good or bad luck of the random assignment, especially in these small samples with few events. However, all estimates of all studies are consistent with global estimation. In fact, the estimation of the heterogeneity of effect with a measure that we will see next, I squared, is worth 0%, indicating that in these studies the effect does not oscillate. All the variation in the estimates of the studies can be explained by the imprecision due to random assignment. In the next video, we will study this I squared. And that's all for today. Well, no, one final advice. Practice. Check if a review reports the effect and its uncertainty. See you in the next video.